Okay, this video showing um, three different types of um, uh, lenses with turbos on them. I um, I like to say that um, they're beautiful lenses, and they. They come in the uh, uh, 80s and 90s um, uh, cameras that used to be used for uh, TV um, production. Uh, by the way, they're great lenses uh, with servos on them. And um, they're, all, they're all great lenses, I just have to say. They do wonderful things with the Canon. They take the Canon uh, DSLRs to another level with, with the right adapters and whatnot. Um, I, I used to use it on my 60D. Uh, fortunately for me, I bought me a Red One camera and unfortunately, I can't, uh, I would have to buy uh, some adapters for uh, th for the PL mount, uh, to go from here to PL mount uh, with a lens behind it um, to make sure that you get uh, the full frame. Um, now, that adapter goes for about uh, 1500 uh, euros, 1600 euros sometimes you can find it for about 1200 euros that's euros people um, now I have a $10,000 lens on my Red One camera and therefore I have no need uh, to push it you know uh, be nice to, to be able to Use um, out of so many lenses that I have, uh, use some of them uh, on the red. Um, but um, I just you know it is what it is. So, but anyways, uh, some I'm making this this video because someone on eBay says that the aperture on one of these is extra loose well I'm gonna show this one with the servo on it okay now listen to this hear it you can't really push it really that much um, now but so it's tight so it's tight. You could say it's tight. Okay. But if I take this servo off, by the way, I only use one screw. Uh, it holds it in there pretty tight with just one. So um, for the purposes of this video to make it fast. Now, check this out. Okay. No sound. Seems to be way too loose. Well, people, this is not a regular lens. This is a lens to be used with a servo. The aperture, it's going to be like this. Can't be tight because you're ruined this right here that's where the sound used to come from earlier so it's plastic in there okay so you don't want to break it so the the engineer knows why he made it nice and loose like that. 
okay? He knows why he made it lose. Okay? It's, it's lose. It's totally lose. That's the way it's supposed to be according to the engineer who built it. If you never had this type of lens, please understand that it has to be totally loose for the servo to be able to operate it without breaking the servo. You don't want to be having to, to um, uh, get new servos all the time. Okay? So, yeah, they're nice and tight with the servos on them. Okay? But, then they're loose. Okay? Now, this right here, another thing the person mentioned, the eBay uh, buyer, that this right here, well, you see how loose that was? If I tie that thing right there, now, it's not loose anymore. It's tight. Well, you got to undo this. Really, come on. For that to be loose. So, and they also have this um, little thing right here, okay? Depending on which type it is, then you got to pull it out in order to make it run to the side. Come on, really. Well, you, you, you have to play with, not play, you know, I call it play. To me, you know, this is fun. You know, this is not a job to me. This is something that I like doing. This is what I went to school for, and this is what I love. This, so to me, it's like playtime when I work. But really, for those who are working, if you don't want to call it uh, playtime, then, you know, when you're working on it, well, you got to work on it. You got to, uh, uh, you know, work around it and, and find all the details. I, I have to say, I, I own more than 50 lenses. And at times I go like, oh, man, this lens. And then I, I, I pick it up in a different time and I find beautiful things about the lens. Um, you just got to play with it. You, you got to find all the beautiful things that, that come out a particular lens. Uh, that's why I own so many of them because they all offer something, uh, different. Um, they all, they, they're all unique in some way or another. Um, so, you know, if you're going to buy a lens, really, <laughs> Uh, and you're just trying to, to, to get to know lenses by buying them and returning them, uh, that, that, that's foul, you know, because I buy them whether, um, uh, I like them or not, because really, if I want to find out what they do, well, I buy them and then I find out what they do. If they suit my need. Well, I write down what they do best, what I think about them, and then when I need something in particular, I go down my list, and then I go like, okay, let me pick this one up for my whatever project that I have. Uh, but if you buy something that has a, a no return policy, just to test it, and then if you don't like it, you want to return it, come on, really. Uh, Especially when 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 it says no returns, uh, please, it, it, you know, if you don't know anything about uh, a certain lens, don't get into it. I mean, if, if you get into it, it's because you're you're experimenting. I have experimented. I have spent thousands of dollars just to find out. Uh, how to do certain things with different lenses um, and bring back alive the uh, 70s, uh, 60s, the 80s back alive with the new technologies. And that's buying all kinds of different um, uh, adapters and um, optics um, to 
to be able to make it work with the uh, new technology. And really, um, it, it is part of, you know, the deal, you know. Every time I, 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 I get to be able to uh, use an old lens that does wonderful things, as you can see on, on the video, uh, that uh, I used to, to, to show how the lens performs, then, you know, you, you're seeing how it works and what you can do with it. You can't expect to do every single thing out there. Because there's no such thing, one lens for all. Well, yeah, in a way, yes, there is, but there is not. You know? So, it's, yeah, you, you could find an almost a lens for all. Like right now, I have a, a $10,000 lens with... Um, a Canon uh, $10,000 lens on my Red One camera. Well, yeah, it's a zoom-in lens. I could do a lot of things with it. Um, but uh, unfortunately, it only focuses uh, four feet away. So now I can't take real close-ups, you know, Uh Unless I buy some other stuff, you know, to go macro. I mean, so, really, people, don't, don't waste people's times. People having to run around, uh, going to, to FedEx, and it's late, I gotta run, you know, and, and then you send stuff overnight because, uh... This is the way I feel. I would like to get my stuff right away when 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 I buy something. I send it overnight. They get it the next very day. I mean, nobody does that on eBay. Hardly nobody does. And I did, you know. And then, oh, I want my money back. You know, this, this and this and... Ah, oh, it's like, what? Are you serious? Really? So, you expect eBay... To waste their time, for me to waste my time having to run around. If I need the lens for some reason, uh, now I can't sell it. I can't do nothing with it. You know, whatever. I mean, I can't even show it. It's not being shown on, on eBay. It's like, really, this is unfair. And eBay shouldn't let stuff like this uh, 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 happen. If you buy, you buy. Especially when it says no returns. No returns. Well, sell it back. You know, sell it to the next person. If you don't want it. If it's not what you need. Well, I'm going to tell you. You're going to be surprised. You keep playing with it. You're going to find a lot of wonderful things that you'll want to uh, 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 use on that lens. So, people... Just don't waste people's times, okay? You want to play with lenses, buy them. No, buy them to test them, to then return them, if you don't like them. And then to, to, to start blaming someone because the lens is no good. I'm showing you right here that the lens, this lenses, that's the way they are. If you don't know them, don't blame someone for something they haven't done. All the stuff that I own, it's in good conditions. If I don't like it, I put it aside. I mean, if it's, if it's broken for some reason, I put it aside and that's it. I mean, I wouldn't want to... Uh, have someone selling me something that's no good. So I, I don't do that to anybody. Okay? I keep whatever, whatever is no good, I keep it stored somewhere for parts or whatever, you never know. You know? So I have a lot of them. And I'm getting rid of them, not because they're bad. It's because 
they're good and I don't need them no more because I'm not planning to use the DS, uh, uh, DSLRs. If I have a red one, why would I want to use a DSLR? Really? You have a red one, you spend all this money on a red one, expensive um, tripods, expensive um, everything to, to then jump to a DSLR? Really? HD? It's nothing compared to 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 a 4K, you know, a 5K. So, thank you.